Hello everybody, and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Awakening. And I wanted to start out by uh, looking at uh, where we got Noir, because we didn't actually look at what the store has, and we can finally buy Killer Bows now. So we unlocked the access to Killer Bows by uh, doing Paralog... Which one was that? 15. Paralog 15. So that's pretty cool. Uh, how many Killer Bows do I have right now, actually? Um, wasn't there a certain bow that I needed that I had that was really low on me? Is it? No. Yes, it was. Iron. So we need to buy some iron bows. Uh, but let's see. We've got two killer bows. I think we're fine for now. Maybe I'll buy one more. we got so much money. What can I fix you In fact, with? I think we have several bullions to sell on top of that. Um, okay. So. Let's see. I'll buy one of you. And I'll buy two of you. Other thing we need to do. Owain. You get your master seal. Um, we'll make you an assassin. Work on uh, getting uh, lethality. Um, he's going to be passively sort of in the background with Cynthia for a while, even on some of the harder ones, I think. Um, just to work on their supports. And honestly, like, maybe he's, maybe he's viable to some degree. I don't know. We might be able to make him viable still. I haven't completely given up on him. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have boots. We have a bunch. Oh, my gosh. I have six energy drops right now. I have to, I have to figure out who to use these on. Um, at any rate, today, we are going to be trying out Paralog 7. This one. Paralog 7, the one with Brady, the one that we failed. Um, we're going to be trying this one out again. Um, but yeah, I also think that we'll probably try and figure out who we're going to use a bunch of those uh, items on as well. Let's go. Noble Lineage. Let's see if we can get it this time. Uh, I am going to rewatch this, by the way. Um, it's been a while since we uh, tried this map. And uh, yeah, so we'll just we'll, we'll go through this again. There's nothing like war for the self-made man, no sir, says Zalbador. The strong rise to the top while the highborns try to keep the blue blood inside him. Thunderation! Hold, Defiler, this is sacred ground. Your wickedness will be punished. <laughs> By who? Same gods that abandoned me when I was starving as a boy? When you see the gods, tell them I said they can rot in hell. Oh, Winston, are you wheezing? Uh, Winston is literally just laying his head on my chest right now, which is also very close to my microphone. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Winston is my pug. When you see the gods, tell them I said they can rot in hell. <laughs> Dastard, I'll cut you for that! Hey, Brady, no, there's nothing you can do. Who would tend to the injured if we lost you? Huh? But we'll fight as best we're able. You help from the rear lines. Ugh. Good people are dying. I can't help. If only I could fight. Uh, Krom, we have to hurry. Hmm? What's wrong, Maribel? Wretched beast. Uh, there are people fighting just over the ridge. Lots of people. Uh, they look like they need help. Let's go, shepherds. Okay. Morgan Lucina, Cynthia Wayne. Okay. Okay, Maribel, you get to come in. Now this one had All right. uh, quite a number of bows, enough bows to be a little worried about it. Right now, Nawi and um, Robin are our only flyers that are in currently. Do we want to keep it that way? Let's see, should we bring in Vake? Yeah, we're going to start clean on this one.
classes only. It's ranged. Who do I want to give that to? Does Assassin count as a Myrmidon class? I think it does, right? Do you have access to that? Um, you wouldn't have our A rank. Um, so I need to check. No, I don't think uh, Pan actually has A rank either. No. That's okay. So, Morgan might actually be... Yeah, we can check Longku. Yeah, okay. So... Swordmaster is the Myrmidon class. Okay, so this is this is for you, my man. For real, that, that's for you. Yeah, like you need it, right? Um, okay. And then let's give you a steal. if you're going to use Mistletane. Bye. 
know if we really need a rescue in this one. We're going to be pretty much just staying in the center, but no, that could still be pretty useful, actually. Oh, we got a lot of silver axes right now. I need to go and buy another short axe, it looks like. So it's a might seven. Please, the temple's beset by marauding bandits. <sighs> Don't you worry, we're happy to help. If there's one thing this world needs less of, it's wretched bandits. Huh? Wait, I know that voice. Is that... Ma? Huh? Maybe I should have given her an offensive magic, too. <laughs> oh, that's her. That's gotta be her. What? Pardon me, you mannerless cur. I'll not stand to be laughed at by a base scoundrel of your ilk. <sighs> yep, yeah, that clinches it. You must be Maribel. <sighs> Just how do you know that? Do you leer at me from behind the shades of whatever den of iniquity you frequent? Huh, I bid you good day. <sighs> Guess you've always been like this. Still, it's good to see you again. And now that I've found you, I'm afraid you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, he's got Mend a Concoction. I could give her a piece of magic if I wanted to. Can you use Physic? Um, let's see. You're rank D. Yeah, Physic only takes C. So if I take that from you... Then Krom. Ah, eh, we'll do it on the next turn. Maybe. What is that? Defense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. this. 
have I found the legendary item of a legend? Man, we're getting dying blazes all over the place lately. Wow, these guys could not hurt us anymore. I think that we're in a much better place than we were last time. What do you all think? Ooh, something tells me that we're maxing out his stats. <laughs> O'Donnell. Actually, the one we need to worry about, looks like. I think Morgan probably has better stats than Longku right now. Okay. Shit. No. I think we're. I think we got to reset because of Longku. He can't take all this. And he's killing him. Yep, I knew that guy was going to be able to reach. Wasn't enough. Fuck. That sucks ass. <laughs> Alright, Longku, you're not cutting it, my man. Not as a frontliner in that way. I don't think this Longku is as strong as my uh, original Longku was. I thought he had a C. I may have been looking at somebody else's stat screen then. That's my bad. Okay. Oh well. Will it be the same? Will it be a dying blaze again? Anything can change. 
Father daughter. Good level up. This is a very good level up. Yeah, my Morgan feels like my old Long Koo used to in my first playthrough. My first playthrough, my Long Koo was absolutely... Oh, this is the first time we've procced Astra, isn't it? Ooh! Success. Nice. Didn't even get the five attacks out. He doesn't need it. But no, seriously, like, Morgan is like my original Long Koo was. So if that gives you an idea of how powerful my long coup was in my first play, that's basically what it was. Yeah, tag team it. Father-daughter duo right here. Wreck and face. I my face. <laughs> Damn. Whatever stats Long Two has given him has given him a much better chance of procking this after, huh? Just as planned. Ooh, that was. Awesome. Okay, if you were turned off, now we've got... Damn, they're overlapping a little bit too much for us here. So we do need to worry about Naui a little bit. In fact, how much damage can they do to her? 24. Not as bad as I would have expected, but still not something you want, really. Okay. Question is, is do I want to push out real hard? Probably not, but I kind of do <laughs> at the same time. Gives me exactly what I need, doesn't it? hope he can survive that. I am worried about vague stats here. 20 plus 8, though. That's pretty good. Speed plus 2, so 23s. No, I don't think anybody's stats are good enough to double. I think you can double him.
Shouldn't have got rid of her physic. but maybe the uh, mounted unit to the left might be able to. She might be in danger if, if you can. Oh Big fat zero. Makes sense. Go after the one who can't... Oh, wait. He can hit that too. Okay, never mind. Actually, that's a bad one to use Astron, my dude. Alright, that's good, though. Getting the critical means we won't waste a bunch of durability on that Astra. Because each of those five hits does count. <laughs> yep, she's the only one who can double you, though, and you're picking up, especially with that plus eight from Naui. Plus eight's doing work. Skill is crocking all those. Thank you. Damn it, he can reach her. Oh, one short. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me. Whatever it takes. Woo! Nobody else should be able to reach her. Thank God. Okay. If I do this, am I just going to commit to... Let's wait a second. I think that's okay. Let me finish him. We're going to finish him. So many procs. I love it. What is your skill right now? It's got to be incredibly high. 39 possibly kill this guy. I am worried about this side right now. Could I rescue out of the way and pull back a little bit? Mitigate some of this? Let's go. Drop your longbow for me. I actually don't think his is a drop. I don't think any of theirs are a drop. Damn. Wouldn't that be nice? Don't miss. 
probably Maribel's first kill, huh? <laughs> Alright. Killer Axe is actually my best hit chance. Let's try and get it done with Silver, though. Yeah, I rule. You probably couldn't miss if you tried, Donald, so... I didn't even look at his stats before I went. That's a bad habit to get into, but... I mean, come on, it's Donald. It's Donald, guys. weapons. Okay, just gotta make sure that there isn't some weird unique weapon that's gonna screw us over here. Oh, that weirded me out. It was like, what weapon does he have that's ranged? Because he's a hero, right? And they can use axes as well. No. Is it hero that can use axes? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it is. He's got the same armor as the player. So if heroes can use axes, I might want to actually start working on axes with Donald just to give him a ranged option with Tomahawk. I could have done that. I could have done that. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love how anybody who goes after Donald is just like, well, that guy's super dead, so too bad for him. <laughs> And a crit. 
Nailed it indeed. Not your best level up, but... Eh. Take what we can get, I guess. Could have done better. Boss is the only one left, right? Yeah. Seventy sixes aren't guaranteed. Pretty good chance. Much easier than the first time we tried. Your humblest thanks. Oh, thank you. You've kept the sacred place safe and spared the lives of those within. No. You just did what was right. Please. Would that I everyone insist. were so brave. Please allow me to give you this. Cool. Blessed Lance. I think we have a blessed... Blessed... Oh my gosh, we got a lot of stuff. I guess these are all for how many villagers and stuff we kept alive. Which we kept everybody alive. Hey. So we got all of the rewards. Hey, Mom. What? What did you call me? Yeah. The name's Brady, um... Huh. I'm sorry, but I only cure physical ailments, broken bones, and the like. You're clearly a deeply troubled individual whose diseased mind is beyond my healing. <clears throat> Stop talking for a minute and look at this. Uh. That's my ring. Then that makes you... <laughs> right. Like I was trying to say, I'm... A thief! A rapscallion, a common law-born cut purse. How dare you sneak in here and steal my prized possessions. God, stop interrupting for one blessed second and check your ring. <sighs> oh, it's still here. <sighs> Clear things up, Ma? Wretched beast. Everything save how I gave birth to a common thug. <laughs> oh, come on, Ma, that's harsh. Sure, I'm not the prettiest guy around, but I'm no thug, and I am your son. And it's good to see you. Well... How did I ever permit my child to grow up referring to me as Ma? Yeah. You gave up trying after a decade or so? <sighs> well, can you at least ride? Have you read the classics? Do you play violin? Chess? <laughs> yeah, all of the above. You beat all that junk into me. <laughs> oh, glory be. My son is salvageable after all. You know? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, thanks? No! Don't look so forlorn, dear. You've come a long way, but Mother's here now. I'll take care of things from now on. Uh, I missed you so much, Ma. Uh, Do not even think of crying. It does not befit one of your station. Sniff. <laughs> Plus, you'll set me off as well. <laughs> Sorry, it just... Uh, I... Oh, Ma. Uh, oh, Brady. Uh, hmm. Oh, brother. <laughs> All right, that was great. That was great. Yeah, that went a lot better than the first time we tried. All right. Got something popped up in the barracks. Okay, let's start with the Brady ones. Brady and Maribel. Let's go ahead and start with that one. Come now. Now repeat after me. My name is Brady. Pleased to make your acquaintance. What? Did you hear me? My name is Brady. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <sighs> the name's Brady. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Clearly. My name is Brady, not the names. Now, my mother's name is Maribel. Go ahead, darling. Try it. Ha! My ma! Uh, my mother... Aw, oh, nuts, Ma. You're crazy if you think I'm putting up with this crap. <sighs> Don't you dare walk out on me, young man. You know? Ma, we're at war here, you know? With killing and all that malarkey. If you want to teach me something, teach me some tricks with a staff. Wretched beast. 
I'll teach nothing of the sort to a boar who scoffs at the value of proper language. Huh? Why not? Clearly. A person's words reflect their character. Ugh. So, anyone who speaks a little rough is some kind of knuckle-dragger? Ain't that a little simplistic? No! Unrefined language shows a lack of concern for how one comes across to others. It demonstrates a lack of respect and is ample cause to judge someone. <sighs> Why you always gotta be so hard-headed about everything? So sorry! Better a hard head than a brain made of mush. I'd sooner choose my words carefully than speak ra rashly and regret it. You want some? Sounds like somebody screwed up in the past, yeah? Who'd you piss off? <sighs> really, must your every phrase be vulgar? It should be... <laughs> Alright, I wasn't expecting that line. It should be, whom did you piss off, Brady? Go on, repeat it for yourself. Huh? Uh, something tells me that still ain't entirely proper speech. <laughs> whom? <laughs> Oh, that one got me. They got me. All right, Brady and Kellum. This one ought to be a little softer, huh? <laughs> Tea's ready. It's the, uh, the, the what's it kind from that place. You know, you know the expensive junk. <sighs> um. What's that? Well, what are you waiting for? Royal invitation? It's all set and ready to go just the way you like it. <clears throat> uh, Brady? Can it! Let's step it up, old timer. Tea ain't getting any hotter. Sorry. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> He's so timid compared to him. Where did you get this from, Brady? It wasn't your pops. It certainly wasn't your mom. All right. You know what? Actually, you did get it from your mom. She's harsh in a different way. You just went the unrefined route. Uh, but Brady? You want some? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean just the way I like it? I hardly ever drink tea. Huh? What do you mean? You drink it every day. You never miss tea time. No... I've had the odd cup here, had the odd cup here or there, but I've never had tea time in my life. <gasps> what? Ma told me to join you in your daily tea ritual. Even gave detailed instructions. Wait, did she make it all up? Okay. Well, considering I don't even know what a tea ritual is, I'm guessing she did. <laughs> that dirty, I bet she's laughing her head off right about now. What? What exactly did she tell you? <clears throat> Oh, don't you worry. I'm gonna have me a nice long chat with dear old Ma. You just sit there and drink your damn tea. So long, old timer. I really like Brady. Yeah. Oh, and set this on top of the pot. Keeps tea warm. <clears throat> when did my life get so weird? <laughs> the moment you married Maribel. That's when. Owen and Cynthia got their B rank. Happy to see it. Yeah, see- Hey, Owain, do you remember what we talked about before? Hmm? The perfect heroic entrance. Sure. Right. Well, I've been thinking about what you said, and it still feels wrong. You want me to wait and appear at the end, but what if someone needs me? What if they get hurt, or worse? <sighs> That's the whole point. You come swooping in just before anyone gets hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! But what if you're too late? Huh. Just don't let it happen. Situational analysis is a basic part of heroism. Hmm? It's still a risk. I think I'd rather just be there from the beginning. Can't control! Yeah, but you know what? Even if the worst does happen, I'd still be heroic. I'd slowly walk up to the crumpled body of my comrade. I'd stoop low and gently brush their bloody and matted hair from their face. And I'd say... Yes? Yes? And By the hungers. gods, I shall avenge you! And then, clutching their lifeless form tight, I'd burst into flames. Huh? You what? <laughs> Behold! I become death incarnate. Friend and foe alike fall before my rampage. Driven mad by grief, I am an unstoppable engine of blood, rage, and destruction. <sighs> Jeez, Wayne, Have you got batty? Always has been. Always has been. And a hero should protect people, not go crazy on rampages. A hero is never idle. By the time I regain my senses, it is already too late. A ravaged land stretches before me, its soil stained red with blood. I stand in silence alone with only the horror of my thoughts for company. Hmm. Owain? Hey, hey, Owain. Uh, snap out of it? Morgan and Pops. Lanku. Father. Do you have a moment? All right. Sure. <laughs> Perfect, then let's get started on Project Get Memories of Dad Back. 
Uh, step one, figure out how we're going to trigger some flashbacks. Well. I've already tried banging my head against a post, but nothing. I mean, it made me dizzy and nauseated, but it didn't unearth any hidden memories. Uh, what do you think, Father? Perhaps a stone wall would work better? Hmm. Uh, I think you should shelve the hand smashing for a bit. Head smashing for a bit, Morgan. Perhaps you could try staring at me for a while? Might trigger something? Yes. Ah, that's perfect. You're a genius. I must have seen your face a million times in the future. Uh, it's bound to bring something back if I stare at it long enough. <laughs> okay, sorry to invade your personal space here, but uh, here goes. <laughs> Drat, it's not working. I don't remember a thing. It's like, have you ever stared at a word so long it kind of fell apart? Huh? And you think, is that how that's spelled? Wait, is that even a real word? Except here it's, is that what father looked like? No. Uh, right. Perhaps that's enough of the memory project for one day? <sighs> sure, I'm still a little dizzy from, uh, banging the post earlier, to be honest. <laughs> but this doesn't end here. I'm not giving up until I remember you, father. Morgan and Longku attain support level B. All right, there we have it. And with that, we're going to end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.